While the temps are dropping, run-ins with copperheads seem to be rising here in Charlotte. Since October 1st, Carolina Healthcare reports there have been five snake bites in Mecklenburg County alone. Rob Hughes spoke with a pest control expert today, and Rob, what can you tell us? Yeah, Rachel, there's three reasons for uh, the increased activity in copperheads here in Charlotte. First of all, it's these snakes mating season from August until October. Second of all, land development can limit their habitat. And finally, as temperatures begin to drop at night, our houses appear warm and inviting. The, the weather's changing. They're looking for a place to hibernate. And people are a big reason why copperheads are turning to our homes. You can't go anywhere around here that the... Uh, they're not building a new house development or tearing the trees down, and so they're just looking for a new place to go. Things like wood piles and anything stacked up against the side of your house can be inviting. Once a snake is that close, it can sense the heat. It doesn't take much of a crack for one to slither its way inside. And he's got access inside the, inside the house. Houses with vinyl siding are especially easy targets. That's a perfect entryway for them. They just, they come along there and find a hole and they feel the difference in the temperatures and boom, they're in the house. If a snake does make its way inside, it's still difficult to catch. Simply trapping it in a room won't work. Because most people won't. They'll shut the door, put a towel down and say it's in there. But when I go in there, we can turn it upside down and it's gone. It either goes under the baseboards or it's got a way back out that it's, uh, it's gone. Yeah, and snakes and uh, just like other pests are very difficult to deal with once they are inside your house. So the biggest key keeping them away from your house in the first place, obviously, that's easier said than done. Live in Charlotte, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. All right. Good warning, Rob. Thank you.